So there I was, chilling in my room, lost in the world of game trailers. The graphics were insane, explosions, energy blast, character moving with such a fluidity. Suddenly, something struck me. What am I missing? And after scrolling a bit on internet, I realized something important. Shit. Okay, listen up. So, I've been making environment renders since long time, but I haven't explored much about visual effects and simulation. You know the things that makes game trailer look amazing? Visual effects and simulation are what make things look powerful, like the energy blast in the movie. They don't just create spectacles, they immerse you in the action, making you feel the heat of the blast and the tremor of the impact. They are also used to show destruction, like building falling apart. Well, via simulation, we can do that. Simulation are of various type. We have water simulation, we have cloth simulation, we have hair simulation, we have sex. Well, now we know what we have to make. Let me tell you one thing. This is not going to happen. Why will we get out of here? Who is that? No, 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 no. Okay. I look for some tutorials on YouTube regarding this. YouTube tutorials are great resources. But sometimes you need a structured learning path. That's why I enrolled in this awesome Udemy course on Unreal Engine 5VFX. It was specially designed for UE5 and the way the creator breaks everything down, it's fantastic. So after a few days of doing this course, I have a good starting point to make my own visual effects in Unreal Engine. And this brought me to the first stage of filmmaking, which is... This is the storyboard of what I am trying to achieve in the shots. The story is quite simple. There is a cave-like environment where there is a powerful orb called Nexus being placed. Our main character, which is female, wants this orb. She will go inside and get it. That's it. Story ends. Hey yo, what the f Now we have our storyboard. It's time to set up the environment in Unreal Engine. I looked down for some references and according to them, I first block out the environment with some piece of planes. Then I use Megascan's rock oval and place it in the block out environment. And with some effort, we have this environment. It's time to bring this VFX scene to life in Unreal Engine. But before we jump into this, let's talk about the three key phases of the good VFX. Anticipation, Climax and Dissipation. So, anticipation is a part where tension is built for the audience. The climax is a section which delivers big wow of moment. And the dissipation lets everything settle now. Think of it like building a story arc for your visual effect shot. Based on this principle, I have created the heart of a scene, the Nexus Orb. Let's break it down step by step. Alright, before anticipation, let's create the foundation of the orb structure. First, we need a solid shape for the orb. I use Blender to create a diamond-like mesh. Then imported it in Unreal Engine. By applying glass texture, we transformed it into a sleek glassy orb. Then I need to make this pulsating fireball at the center. For this, I use Sprite Renderer. And using Sub UV Animation Texture, I get this kind of effect. Now I need this kind of particle tail. For this, I set up a particle system, where the particle gets emitted from the center. And the moment they strike the diamond, it emits another particle, which then perform motion around the diamond. To this particle, I attach ribbon renderer, and this gives me this kind of trail effect to the particle. Okay, basic setup is done. Now we enter the stage of anticipation, the stage where we build the excitement. It all begins with a lens flare glowing at the heart of our creation, followed by the emergence of crack across the diamond surface. For this, I created a crack material from this texture. Now I don't want the crack to be still, I wanted it to grow. 
For this, I need some radial grow pattern. The way I achieve this is by manipulating the texture coordinate node. I subtracted 0.15 from X and Y coordinate from texture coordinate node and this brings the origin to the center. Using length node, I get this radial pattern. Now I can subtract this output with a constant that will control the fall off. So higher the value, the more part appears and lower the value, the lesser appears. Finally plug this in the opacity of the texture and this gave me this growing crack effect of the orb. Enhancing this effect, I introduce a beam texture simulating light bursting forth from the orb. And this makes our anticipation stage ready. And this brings us to our main stage, that is... Now in Climax, we have the breaking effect of the orb, which is created using Destruction Physics and Unreal Engine 5. I cache the Destruction Physics render and save it in timeline. And I have this. Also, I added smooth simulation at the end of the dissipation part. This is how all VFX is done. And this brings us to the second VFX. Now in this, I am trying to achieve something like this. So when the character moves up, the drill particle will emerge and follow it and converge it at a certain point. In this, we will need the emitter which will emit the particle and a receiver which will give the location at which the particle has to get converged. Well, this effect requires some kind of research, but eventually I figured out the solution. So the way I'm gonna do this is think that there are two points. The first point is the current location of the particle and the second point is the location of the destination. Now, if you observe a 2D space, this can resemble two vectors. And if you subtract the second vector, it gives a third vector, which is the direction in which the particle has to move to each then. So to achieve this in particle system, I created a scratch pad model where I set a particle position and final destination position as an input. Now I subtract the destination position from the particle position and pass the output to the direction and the length safe node, which gives me the direction and length as an output. Now we have direction and length between the two positions. If we divide the length from the delta time and multiply it with the direction, this gives me the velocity with which the particle has to move to reach the end point. I also created some extra parameters for the control of parameter like speed and offset. Alright, VFX is in place. Now it's time for the real fun, that is animating our character. First, we will require the reference footage of me performing the action for the animation. As our character, I have selected this meta human. We will do some changes to the meta human and will import it in Unreal Engine. Now I need to animate it manually using its ray. Two hours later. Hey, yar. Kitna difficult hai yar ye. To cascader use nahi karta. Bhai abhi cascader kya hai? Oh, gani baba. Batayo zara ise cascader kya hai? Okay, listen. Cascader is an AI animation tool which allows us to use the power of AI to make our animation workflow less time consuming and more efficient. First of all, it's auto-posing mode. It's so powerful that it detects the pose of rest of the body on animating a part of it. Also, it constrains some movement giving a feel of animating IK rig. You can think of it like an IK rig in which you are animating one part and the rest is figured out using physics. I imported the reference footage that I have recorded and then I tried to animate the character according to the reference footage. Once that is done, I applied auto physics and then exported the animation. Once we have our animation ready, it's time to get everything in place and form a sequence in Unreal Engine. For each shot, I created a different sequence. To bring the character to life, I utilize MetaHuman Facial Capture plugin for facial animation. If you want to dive deeper into this, I have got a video on my channel explaining the process. For exporting, I choose EXR format with ACES color configuration to maintain the higher quality. Then I brought everything together in After Effects for compositing and finished up with color grading in DaVinci Resolve. And finally, after two months of hard work, here is the final video. They call it the nexus of whispers, a convergence of ethereal energies that pulse through the veins of the earth. Its origins are lost to time, hidden within the depths of legends. 
And yet, here it lies, waiting to reveal its mysteries to those who dare to seek its power.